Hey guys, this is Gia Felder with Gia Felder Realtor LLC, powered by Village Premier Collection of Georgia. And today I am going to talk to you about Divi Homes, going to give you the latest information about this rent to own lease purchase program and answer some common questions that others have. Hey everybody, this is Gia. I want to talk to you today about Dibby Homes, which is a lease purchase program, and they're also a company here in the metro Atlanta area. They're one of about three or four lease purchase programs here in Atlanta. They've been here roughly since about 2018, and they have been doing some things here. And so I want to share with you the latest information about the program so you're aware and also answer all of the questions that you may have with that program. So let's get started. So today we're gonna to talk about Divi Homes. And again, as I mentioned before, they are a lease purchase program here in the Metro Atlanta area. And they've been here for almost four years and they have definitely helped a lot of future homeowners to get into homes to help bridge that gap to home ownership. So let's get started. So you may want to know what Divi Homes is, and this is on their website. They say that they're a modern rent-to-own program that can help homeowners who can't get traditional financing. So I say that's one of the reasons, but we've often found that those who are moving from other states, other areas into Metro Atlanta find this program helpful. And also for those who just want to test out an area and would rather not be in a standard rental. And finally, for those who actually can get traditional financing but have not saved all of their money and really need to save, this is a great program for them and for you. So the process is you get approved, Divi buys the home that you want, you pay rent until you are ready to purchase. The length of the program is three years. So at any time, you're able to make those decisions. One of the biggest things about their program is based upon that rent. And so your rent payment consists of 75% is the market rent and 25% of that monthly rent is a savings equity. Your savings equity is yours. Again, what Divi does is they want you to save. And so this is the biggest part of their program is to have this to force you to save towards home ownership. So if you do decide to buy the home, that is going to go towards the purchase of that home. So your options are simply put, you can either purchase the home at any time during those three years. That money again will go towards the purchase for your down payment, your closing costs, or you can cash out your savings and simply walk away. You're actually under no obligation to buy that home. And we'll talk about that. So what I'm going to quickly share with you is the minimum criteria that you need to move forward with Divi. If you're not able to move forward with meeting these minimum criteria, you will not get approved for this program. So the minimum credit score is 550. Keep in mind, Divi does not use um, any other scores other than FICO scores. So those are not what you're going to see on Credit Karma or Credit Sesame because those programs use Spanish scores. So the quickest way to get what you need for Divi is to go to myfico.com, pick their advanced subscription, and on there you will see about 16 different scores, three um, in about four categories, three credit bureaus, and what you're going to be looking at are mortgage scores. And unfortunately, you can't get those because they're different from your standard scores. So minimum of 550 uh, credit score, and that's FICO, TransUnion. Three months of stable income with a minimum of 2,500, which is roughly a $30,000 salary. Your maximum de debt to income cannot be above 50%. And when they calculate this, they will also include what your Divi rent payment would be in order to figure out what your approved budget is going to be. So when they combine that, that is definitely going to be at 50% or below, but not above it. No evictions or bankruptcy in the past year. Now, I gave you the minimum. But in order to be successful in this program, 
you really need to have the following two things. Your credit score needs to be at minimum 600. The higher, the better. But at 600, you are going to definitely see some improvements on this program. And we'll talk about that in the next few slides. So the next thing that you need is three months of stable income with a minimum of $37.50 per month, which is the equivalent of $45,000. $45,000 or higher is just going to be able to get you approved for a higher budget, and it's going to result in you getting a better quality home. So you want to make sure that your salary is as high as it possibly can be. And also, in order to pay less in rent, have that score at least at 600. So let's talk about the um, Divi approval model. So this is kind of how they determine what your budget is going to be, what your savings is going to be, what your rent payment is going to be. And it really does focus on your credit scores. And so that's why I put a lot of emphasis on having a credit score as high as it can be. So if you have a at least a 550 to 599 credit score, then you're going to have a down payment of 2% and you're going to have a savings build to 10%. Savings build is literally that you are going to build towards a savings in over the course of the three years to 10%. Now, most traditional financing really only requires a three and a half to 5% down payment. But keep in mind, you also have to pay closing costs that can also, that can practically double that um, amount. So actually this is a good savings bill to have, but we're gonna see what that impact is to your rent payment in a later slide. Now, focus on the bottom here. If you have a score that's less than 590, Divi is not going to approve you for a high budget if you have more than a 33% debt to income. And it's really um, a plus to you. You do not want to have such a high uh, debt to income with such a low score. It will actually affect you when you're seeking traditional financing. So that's actually not a bad thing. However, if you are 590 or above, then you can get qualified with a debt to income of 50%. For 600 to 649, your down payment is gonna be 2% and your savings build is going to only be at 5%. And with a 650 or higher credit score, you're actually gonna have two options. Your down payment again is gonna be 2%, your savings build is also going to be 2%. That is not a typo. That basically means that once you pay your down payment, you will not have any other obligation towards savings. So your monthly payment is going to be lower. You can also choose to have a 1% down payment and you actually still continue to do a, um, choose an option to build to 5%. And so that will also um, result in a lower payment. And we're going to see that in the next slide. So giving you an example of a home that is $300,000, let's start with the first one. Say you have a score of 580. So you have a down payment of 6,000 in this example. Your base rent is going to be 2,300. Your savings is going to be 735, which results in a monthly rent payment of $3,035 very high, right? Just say you have a 605 credit score. So your down payment is still going to be 6000 Your base rent is going to be 2300 still, but your savings component drastically reduces probably almost $500 to 275 And so your total rent payment is 2575 per month. Now, if you have a score of say 656, you have those two options. And so again, the first option, your down payment is 6,000. Your base rent is 2,300. Remember, this is a 2% down, 2% savings build. So that means there is no savings component in your rent. So your monthly rent is going to be the same as the base rent. Or you can choose to have a savings build where you're paying 1% down, which is $3,000. Base rent again is the same at 2,300 and your savings component is 370 for a total of 2670. Now, if you notice in the bottom example, 
your rent is a little bit higher than the example in the middle. And that's simply because you're making a lower down payment, but you're still going towards that 5% build. So you are gonna have a slightly higher payment. But in my opinion, having this option is much better than the option that you have when you're under 600 for your credit score. So let's quickly talk about the timeline from the time you're approved to the time we close on the home. So once you're approved and we go out and search for that wonderful home that you found, you want to move forward with it, then what happens is I will send in my portal a request in what's called initiate offer. And what that tells Divi is, hey, my client is ready to move forward with this particular house. Divi, we want you to buy it. So there's two things that you have to do in order for Divi to move forward. You have to submit a $500 deposit, which is a good faith deposit saying, hey, I am definitely interested in wanting to move forward with this home. And you'll also have to submit or sign a occupancy proposal. The occupancy proposal is actually key here because it's going to list out everything that you need to know because Divi is transparent. They're gonna let you know what your rent payment is, what that base payment is, the savings equity component, your total rent um, over the three next three years. It will also let you know what your um, buyback price is gonna be at 18 months and at 36 months, which is three years. So you're gonna know all of that. So really looking at that occupancy proposal is the first thing. And if you're comfortable, you sign that and submit that deposit. Then Divi drafts the purchase agreement, um, the offer, and I will send it over to the listing agent for the seller to review. If and when the seller decides to accept our offer, we will go under contract. And when that happens, Divi requires that you, within 24 hours of that happening, to submit the rest of your down payment. So say, for instance, using the example previously, $6,000 down payment, you've already paid 500 deposits. So $5,500 $5, is what you're going to um, pay the remaining amount for your down payment. So we go through the rest of the process. We have you know, inspections, we have appraisals, we have all of that good stuff to, um, to get through and we're heading towards the closing table. A few days before that, Divi is going to ask that you pay your first month's rent. Now I wanna note here, the timing is of the essence for this particular part. You wanna make sure based on your method of payment that you submit that in time for it to clear so that Divi can move forward. If it does not clear, Divi will either push back the closing or they will decide not to purchase the home. So you don't wanna be in a situation where you are either late paying that or not able to. We wanna make sure we know that in advance. So make sure you have that taken care of before Divi closes. Once we do, we are heading towards the house I'm giving you your keys and you are moving in. So now that we've gotten through that, let's answer some questions, some common questions that are asked about this program. So the first thing is, what is the maximum purchase price for Metro Atlanta? Divi will purchase a home anywhere between $150,000 to $500,000. Yes, half a million dollars. Where does Divi purchase in Georgia? Divi covers a ton of counties here in Georgia, and they specifically target areas around Metro Atlanta. And I know a lot of people think Metro Atlanta is just the city of Atlanta, but Metro Atlanta is actually Atlanta and surrounding counties. And so Divi really covers central Georgia up to northern Georgia. So here are the list of the counties that they cover. And you can see, again, there are a lot of counties to choose from. So whether you want to be inside the perimeter or outside the perimeter, you are going to be able to work with Divi to find a home and use this, use this program. The, home, the counties in green just reflect the counties that I work in mainly, primarily. The counties in orange are the ones that I don't normally service, but I definitely will. And 
the other counties are areas where I don't service. So if you work with me and get your approval, I will make sure that you are connected with a reliable, capable, experienced agent to get you through this process. How does co-applicants work? So if you have you know, two or more applicants on your application, you wanna make sure that the person with the lowest credit score has one that is at least 550, 550. That is because Divi will only look at the applicant with the lowest credit score to determine whether or not you will be approved. So. If you don't have someone that cannot meet that criteria, do not put them on the application. Otherwise, your entire application will be denied. And most importantly, it's something to consider. If you can, make sure the person with the lowest credit score has at least a 600. What are the upfront costs for Divi to close and for you to move in? And we've actually talked about that. The two main things are your down payment and your first month's rent. And remember that deposit, that good faith deposit is going to be incorporated in that. Can I terminate my lease? The answer to that is yes. However, two things, you have to be current on your rent, cannot be late. And Divi is going to charge you a 2% relisting fee. That relisting fee is based on the purchase price, which is essentially the 2% that you most likely paid when you moved in. Does Divi buy condos, mobile homes, or multifamily units? And that is no. <laughs> and the reason for that is because Divi wants what's called a fee simple property. And what that means is Divi will buy a home where they have full ownership of the building and of the land that the home is built on. You cannot accomplish that with condos. You cannot accomplish that with mobile homes. And with multifamily, with a building that has multiple units, if they can't own the entire unit, then they won't purchase it. And multifamily homes requires you purchasing the entire unit and you can't live in all of those units so they won't purchase them. Will Divi buy a new construction home? The answer is yes. Two things. It has to be at least 90% complete, so almost to completion. And if the builder requires a large earnest um, deposit, you will be required to pay that earnest deposit. Now, say for instance, that is $5,000 or $10,000. Divi's gonna pass that requirement to you. You're gonna have to pay that before they will even um, submit an offer to purchase it. However, remember that 10% is yours. And so it's going to be applied towards either the rest of your down payment or maybe even the first month or two of your rent. So you're not going to lose out. It's not in addition to, but you are going to have to um, pay that up front. Why are different rents so high? <laughs> We've actually talked about that as well. You can see from those examples that I showed you is that the reason why they're so high is because of the savings component. And that is their model. They have been very upfront with that. That is how they run their program. They are in the market or in um, their goal is to make sure that homeowners, future homeowners are saving. And so you're going to pay their market rent for the area and you're going to have that savings component. But just keep in mind, you're not going, you don't need to worry about whether the rent is high or not so high. You just need to know what your budget is. That's what I'm going to be looking at. That is what we're going to be searching on. So you just need to know if you can pay that rent. If you can pay that rent, you're great. You're golden. And just know that part of that rent is going to come back to you if you're ready to move forward with purchasing or if you want to walk away. And last, is Divi a scam? And the answer is they are not. I have worked with them 
actually since 2019 and have worked with them to purchase a lot of homes. And I know colleagues who have worked with them to help them purchase a lot of homes. And we have had uh, clients who have turned around and bought their home back from Divi. I know we've taught, if you've been listening and paying attention to the market and how crazy it was, it was a perfect time, especially at the beginning of when Divi came into the market to purchase through them, because now a lot of them are sitting on some really good equity in those homes. So it was a great time to buy. So it's not a scam. They're fully transparent. If it's a program that just does not work for you based on the model, definitely don't consider them. We don't want you to think that it's a scam just because the rent rates are high. They're definitely not that. So that's it. Let me know when you're ready to get started. I would love to help you. We can meet, we can have a conversation. On my screen here is a um, link to schedule a 15 minute discovery call. Please mark that down. Please schedule one with me. We can go into your particular situation and just make sure that this is an option that's great for you. Let you know, this is an option that's in my arsenal for you to share with you. My goal is to get you to home ownership. So if that is through traditional financing, if you qualify, or if it's through lease purchase through Divi Homes, that is what we're going to work towards. So schedule that discovery call or give me a call and let's set up something. I hope to work with you soon. Again, this is Gia with Gia Velderilla to LLC, brokered by Village Premier Collection of Georgia. and. Hope to hear from you soon.